Louisiana Beer Reviews looking at Covington Brewhouse Rock and Roll Summer Farmhouse Ale. Okay, apparently this Rock and Roll Summer Farmhouse Ale was introduced in 2015, but we didn't get it out here until 2016, unless I overlooked it, but I don't think I did. 5.5% alcohol. Um, I wrote some facts down, there aren't many. There's no video reviews. This is the first video review for this beer in the world. Uh, there's no written reviews on Ray Beer Beer Advocate. Um, oh no, I didn't write any down. That's right. There's just uh, they're just saying on their website, uh, Covington Brew House. It's good. Drink it. <laughs> uh, the brewmaster's name is Bruiser. Bruiser. Okay, we took this. Okay, Bruiser. We took this classic Saison style and infused it with a dose of American rock and roll. What else would you expect from our all-star team at Covington Brew House? Signed, Bruiser. Okay. It's a part of my rock and roll farmhouse ale. Alright. Singa beer. Not exactly a glass for farm ooh, smoke farmhouse ale, but I hadn't used a glass in a while and I felt as though I was neglecting it. Okay. Lively. Lovely. You need some thick, slightly off-white head of foam. You need a hazy golden appearance. Well, hazy. Um, some, uh, you can see through it a little. Some lazy bubble streams. All right, let's see if this beer was saved by rock and roll. I have some Vienna sausage. This is the fabulous Always Save Vienna Sausage. Yes, from Associated Wholesale Grocers of Kansas City, Missouri. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Kansas City, Kansas. <laughs> I bought this at Food for Less. Or if you add the 10% at checkout, it might actually be Food for More. Regardless, it's really just Food for Even. In the typical in the typical sense, um, now you might say, "I bet these are really inferior to armor." I don't know; I've never had them. Um, I do know this much. I was looking at the bottom of the can, and it said uh, "P42." I think it's 4247. Yeah, P4247. I said to myself, "Self, I don't know what that means." But I have a feeling it means something important. So I start looking up P4247. Come to find out, it's what the United States Department of Agriculture calls an establishment number. And I got on their website, so I called the USDA, but not on the phone. I called them up on the internet. And uh, actually, the all always save was more expensive than the great value or the armor at Walmart so you don't always save. Um, they gave a list of all the establishment numbers. All the processing facilities meet processing facilities in the United States and its territories. Uh, and her territories. Okay so P4247, P poultry. And sometimes they have alternate numbers for other, it might have B also beef. But the main number is P4247. That's Fort Madison, Iowa. Fort Madison, Iowa. Also on U.S. Highway 61, the main highway through this town. The main New Orleans to Baton Rouge highway through this town. Interstate 10 is the main one, but it doesn't really go through the town. It goes outside the town, okay? Anyway, regardless. Fort Madison, Wisconsin. Um... And that's west of the Mississippi River. We're on the east bank, but 61 crosses back and forth over the river. It hugs the river, and that's why it's designated as the Great River Road National Scenic Highway. And you will see signs all along the road with um, a, a steam uh, <laughs> a steamship uh, wheel, steering wheel. Okay, old-timey one. 
we drove all the way up to where the river starts in Minnesota, Lake Itasca. And the river's about this wide. Well, that's an exaggeration. It's wide enough to make a run and jump across it. We walked across a little boardwalk. But this deep, clear, cold. Ooh, mosquitoes everywhere. Okay. Um, so, it's Pinnacle Foods facility. So I looked under the can of this that I bought in Florida City, Florida at the great Aldi, Brookdale Vienna Sausage. I said, okay, 42.47. What? I look up Armor Vienna Sausage, 42.47. Well, Armor is part of Pinnacle Food Groups. I look up Great Value, the Walmart, 42.47. Uh, Libby's, they have a different establishment number, so they're at a different facility. Um, Goya, I didn't have a chance to check yet. So apparently a lot of the sausages are coming from the same place. And it may be a case where they're just putting so many in this can, label them great value. So many in this can, label them best choice. Label those armor, whatever, I don't know. It's a humongous facility. Um, and so they have the means to do it. Anyway, on with the review. It's a little spicy. It's, a, it's mild in the aroma, grains, barley malt, you know. Not too much horse blanket, Bretanomyces, but a little, a little too. Rock and roll is good time music. Okay. The taste is uh, also very mild. For people that aren't too amenable towards the Bretanomyces horse blanket farmhouse style thing, Saison type thing. This might be better because it's not so intense. Rock and roll ain't noise pollution. Rock and roll will never die. Well, we'll see about that. Okay, um. Mm, let's see, I've ha I have some Kobe cheese, crackers. And onions, yellow. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. What are you doing? What are you doing? Gotta make better decisions than that. Mm -hmm. I gotta put this Louisiana hot sauce. Sorry, that was a really bad fox pass. Faux pass. Okay. Um, let's try this again. I did not eat any breakfast. I had gained a whole pound yesterday. <laughs> so I said, oh boy, I'm at 146.2. I need to get back to 145.0. That's the goal, right? In December 2001, I was at 176.5. And the big belly was sticking out. And I was like, this will end today. And I went on my diet that I invented called Eat Less and Exercise More. That's the name of it, Eat Less and Exercise More. Worked out great. Lost over 30 pounds. All right. Good, 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 good. Good. And I'm showing all the old and newer ice house designs for no particular reason. Sweet, a little honey, um, almost like honey top Sara Lee bread. Um, a little shade of Britannomyces. The bitterness is very low. I'm thinking the IBU must be around 15. Medium mouthfeel and a fairly crisp, sort of dry finish. Um, dry. It's dry. Oh, it's so caked at the bottom. This is going to cloud up like a beer that's clouding up. Okay, so um, I don't see a date, guys.
no date. Maybe it's underneath the bottle. Well, I don't see anything. Put the damn date, guys. That's horse hockey. That chaps my chapstick. Okay, um. Tastes pretty good. It's not intense. Like I say, on the Cyclops scale, it's probably three out of five sugar cubes, one out of five, and that's being generous on um, bitterness. You know what? I think they did a good job with it. Everything does not have to be pronounced Britannomyces. Or, we'll call it Brett for those who have trouble with fun you know phonics um that honey Do it, does this thing have honey <laughs> it's really uh, interesting uh, this beer is becoming more interesting as a drink on it uh -huh. I'm saying minimum a minus minimum I don't know if you'll ever see this beer. The number of reviews is telling me you probably won't. Uh, I don't know how widespread Covington is. It used to be Heinebrau. But the original owner sold out, and now it's Covington Brew House in Covington, Louisiana. Close to US Highway 90. Highway 190 in the Florida parishes. That's another story. How Louisiana parishes are called Florida parishes. It makes sense if you know the story. Oh, it cloud up, clouded it up. Now it looks like apricot juice. Look at that striated gray cloud. Oh, it's fascinating. So, um, the aroma didn't really change though. Taste. It's the same. So, in this case, the, the swish and pour did not change it. So, I love rock and roll, summer farmhouse ale, so you should buy it. Buy the beer. You love the beer, buy the beer. So, laissez le bon temps roule. This is at least at a minimum an excellent beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Louisiana and visit Covington Brew House.